The dichotomy in India is what really gets me. You'll see something green and lush one day and you'll see it absolutely dead and barren the next and both have a stoic beauty to them. Hi AD, I'm Akshat Bhatt. I'm the founder at Architecture Discipline. Join me as I build my artboard inspired by India. Delhi is where I grew up and we're full of, you know, archaeological monuments. So you sit down there, you sort of soak in the space. You would get this one sense of, you know, expanse. That coupled with music, the dance, uh, you know, the general sense of tactility and culture and materiality. You know, like they say, if you're inspired by one thing, you're a derivative. But if you're inspired by a million things, you're an original. Architecture isn't just about materiality and fancy textures. It's not just about fancy things. It's about creating spaces with spirit and heart. And that's what we look to do. We look to champion the cause of a progressive India. We wanted to create a sort of open space that would nurture a collaborative, creative environment. We used a, a series of different construction techniques in one, so the space in itself speaks its own narrative. We've got dissonant rhythm by offsetting the, the, you know, the steel beams from the brick piers. And then we spanned it using a traditional tukri slab, which is a stone slab on, on small steel joists. Essentially, you're connected to the outside, but you're still always sort of, you want to be in. I think that mental well-being for people within, within any space, be it a home or a workspace, is extremely important because we're always wired in nowadays. That fundamental idea of the longevity of space and the well-being of its inhabitants is core to what we do. I think what artists do resonates with what we do. You know, they've created the oxy pool wherein the water is treated in a manner that it helps you and it goes a long way to address the well-being of the person using it. And that in itself is a phenomenal achievement. If you want to create a space for, for an Indian context, the easiest way to do it is to use the material that's around you. So using that inspiration or using, using what, what is available, one can create a space that is uniquely yours. Do not be bogged down with kitsch ideas. It has to be uniquely you. With a sense of purity and commitment, you will get everything that you need. And that answers every design problem that's ever been posed.